Hey, to graph quadratic functions, f of x, here's our quadratic function, there's a few ways we can do it. I'm going to show two ways. One way is to do the following. First of all, if the number in front of x squared, the coefficient of x squared is positive, your parabola opens up. The number in front of x squared is negative, the parabola opens down. It's something you just want to be aware of. All right, so we know this is going to open up. But what's its graph going to look like? All right, well, one method is to find the vertex. In other words, where's the bottom most point? So find the vertex. Well, the vertex, as we learned in the earlier video, the, the formula is x equals minus b over 2a. The opposite of b, the opposite of negative 4, is positive 4, over 2 times a, a is 1, and we get 4 over 2, which is 2. So this is the x-coordinate of, um, of the vertex. Notice, as we talked about in the last uh, video, the equation for the axis of symmetry The equation is this number here. It's just x equals that number. That is the, equa the equation for the axis of symmetry. Now, next thing we need to know before we, we want to plot the vertex, the vertex is a point x, y. We know what x is. We need to figure out y. y is f of x, so I just plug the x value in here to find y. So instead of writing f of x, I want to write y equals x squared minus 4x minus 12. But for x, I'm plugging in 2. So we get 2 squared minus 4 times 2 minus 12. We get 4 minus 8 minus 12. And if you add that up, we get minus 16. So the vertex is actually located at the point x, y. x is 2, y is negative 16. All right, so let me graph that over here, and then I'll write this back when I do method 2. So to graph this, we go to the point x is 2, and then we go all the way down here somewhere to negative 16. So that is where the vertex is, 2, negative 16. Now, we know it's going to open upward because the number in front of x squared is positive. The only thing we need to know is when we come up, where is it going to cross the x-axis? Well, those are the x-intercepts. Remember to find x-intercepts, as, as I explained in the previous video, we let y equal 0. So I take x squared minus 4x minus 12, and I set that equal to 0. All right. So to solve this, well, this factors, and our two numbers are negative 6 and positive 2. Multiply to negative 12, but they add to negative 4. When I set each of these equal to 0 and solve, here we get x equals 6. Here we get x equals negative 2. So we know the graph of this is going to cross at 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it's also going to cross at negative 2. So the graph of the parabola is going to look something like this, 6, and something like this. It's going to look kind of like that. Now we could find this point right here if we want to get really specific where exactly does it cross what do we do well to find where it crosses the y-axis or to find the y-intercept let x equal zero when x is zero we get negative 12 so this actually goes up more like this it crosses over here but that number right there it crosses at negative 12 right to get more of a precise graph All right but that's the basic idea I'm going to call that method one for graphing. And then in the next video, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use a different method, all right, a 
different approach.